All right, guys, here we are. We're going to do Noid Hex's Tick Tank deck. Um, so this, as you can see, is a quadruple War Factory deck. Um, the idea of this deck is to, to get the ticks positioned nicely. Um, normally, you want to boost ticks places. That's what the Fanatics are there for, I think. You want to Fanatic boost your tick tanks, get them burrowed really quickly. Uh, burrowed tick tanks are pretty thick. Like they are, they are thick tanks, so they are quite strong once they're burrowed. The issues with this deck that I see are it's going to be a little bit weak to bombers because a bomber matchup is going to come down to stealth tank versus the bomber. Like whoever micro is better is just going to win that, and I think it I think it favors orca bombers. I think infernos are a little bit easier to deal with, but orca bombers are going to be really tough. Um, I think it's probably a little weak to orca bomber. Although the tick tank does give you a nice front line that they have to send the orca bomber over, and then you can have the stealth tank behind guarding, so it isn't as weak. Um, it wasn't isn't as weak to a uh, to a balker as as um, you know as a not like a scorpion deck would be. Um, I think the hardest matchup for this is going to be Giga and MLRS. Both Giga Cannon and MLRS are like completely uh, like insanely hard to beat with this deck. You have no air units. Almost everything is low hit points apart from the Tick Tank, which is low hit points when moving. So yeah, Giga and MLRS are going to be extremely difficult to fight. Uh, I actually think this deck's okay against tech because borrowed tick tanks uh, can, and stealth tanks can do a pretty good job against a lot of tech units. So yeah, I think Giga and MLRS are the hardest matchups, Bombers being the second hardest matchup. Uh, but Giga and MLRS are not very popular right now because of the air meta game. So let's give it a go and see what happens. Okay, up against GI. Fairly safe to go hard. Power from wheels, obviously, that's our 10 cost unit. Uh, Solomon is actually not a problem for this deck at all because you tend not to create a fortress around your tick tank You just burrow the tick tank and then occasionally send units to support it and Burrowed tick tank shrugs off like completely shrugs off iron cannon it, it like it does so little damage to a burrowed tick tank. It's, it's kind of laughable My opponent's gone blind double half. We're gonna get some bikes and start harassing Jump jets. All right, we'll back up and use wheels to defend. We're happy to let him go into defensive wheels We'll let him trade here like it's not an amazing trade for us but it's not a terrible trade we get the second wheel to come in and then we'll go fanatics once we have the money so we're probably going to want another fanatic squadron here could be pretty easy to take this missile very quickly if it's fire there it goes and then we'll send both our fanatics all right we'll get some wheels these drops i should have backed up these fanatics that was a misplay i basically just suicided them for no reason Feels bad. Change target with the fanatics here. And we're going to try and get a tick set up now. Because it's going to be reasonably soon that he gets his uh, tech out. And we need to have a tick tank ready to go. Depending on what it is, of course. Wolverine, that's fine. Tick obviously ignores that. We'll use these boosted bites to try and finish off his halves. And then we'll have this to boost the tick tank. And we'll grab another tick tank. Hopefully he doesn't have like a Kodiak. That would be a bit of a, a, bit of a nightmare. Grab some flames here for these guys. Okay, just surrenders. Cool. I guess he saw the tick tank and just knew he could never win. Mission accomplished. Alright, we're gonna go wheels first this time. Just up against a nod player. They could laser drone rush us and that would be pretty scary. Go rush, go hard. Not charging, just default to charging. Yeah, the fact he's moving his harvester down here makes me think it's gonna be a second half. I'm actually gonna head over there. Oh no, he went buggy. I thought he was going to make a second harvest and I was going to try and block it, but he went buggy instead. Obviously want to run away from this buggy. Falling, we we'll charge. We'll get some bikes. His wheels are going to die, it's not a deal. Put the bikes on his buggy and then we're going to try and go straight into a stealth tank. Sorry, um, tick tank, not stealth tank. Yeah, because it looks like we're going to be stuck in a bit of a bike mirror. The tick would be nice here. But he's going to try and go off my car. Tick does a good job uh, against bikes whilst moving. You don't need to borrow it against bikes. I'll let these wheels go as well. They're not a big deal anymore. We need the pot cap for our lasers, I think. I don't want to take four shots from bikes here. Yeah, that's fine. I just didn't want the big, big squadron to volley my, my tick tank, basically. Let's go see if he's got the double half yet. He does, of course. Um, so we're going to get another laser go top. Uh, send this one to the end. Just fire this missile pretty quickly. And we'll grab another tick tank and go fish harvesters. We'll go via this way. There we go. 
Alright, let's see if we can get these harvesters. Get this tick tank on his harvester line. Definitely want to keep charging. We're already at a minute 30. Yeah, there's the Temple of Nod. Alright, Borrowed Tick Tank should. I don't know how well it'll do here against these bikes. I think it just basically ignores them. Eh. We can get the harvester and then and then start fighting them for sure. Yeah, so we get a harvester, we're still alive. Tick tank lives for a long time against these things. Alright, there's some cybers. We get some fanatics, and then as soon as they get here we'll set build for them as well. And so we'll have flamers and fanatics against them. Could not be a problem. This looks like we win this game incredibly easily from here. He's on no pads, we're on three pads with tick tank burrow as well, yeah. Another surrender. Brave quit, as Newton would say. Alright, so we're going up against Evo IMB. This guy's in my line. He's a pretty good player. This could be a tough one, depending on what he's playing. Alright, let's get some weedy boys. Go and scout out. So this is in missiles. That's not a big deal. See where they go. If they go for the harvester, we'll try and pin them in a 2v1. Get some harass on them. Should have given maybe a little. Should have waited like one more tile forward before I did anything there. Don't want to get a two v two, so we'll back up. And we'll just go straight for Fnatic. Now he's already got two missile troopers. And then we'll go around behind him, so that as he runs away, we can catch him with the wheels. Yeah, nice. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to pin these guys in and take them out. He's probably playing Razorback. Uh, that's like the standard thing to do with PDI because it's super good. But he's gone War Factory. Interesting. I don't really... I don't want to go Tick Tank. I'm going to go Tick Tank. I might regret this decision to make a Tick Tank this quickly without actually seeing what he makes, but... I want to get it burrowed before whatever War Factory unit comes out, so... Alright, so we do get it burrowed. He did go Razorback. Interesting. A little bit surprised there, to be honest. Alright, we'll go Stealth Tank. And we'll get the Fanatics on this. Yeah, I think maybe he mislicked the War Factory, because I don't think... I think he probably wanted this Razorback a lot sooner. As you can see, the Razorback is a lot slower now. A lot slower. Way easier to catch it with this... Look, I mean, look at this. This stealth tank easily catches up to it. It's not a big deal at all. And now we'll just guard our ticks with uh, stealth tank and fanatics. And if he lets us, we'll fire it. We'll get, we'll get this boosted and we'll fire a volley of Predator. Then we'll run away. Nice. Exactly what I wanted. Didn't get the boost, obviously, but... Now the second stealth tank can come in, finish it off, maybe get some chip damage on this. Ooh, and we'll flame us here, this should be a pretty easy missile here to be honest with you. Even got boosted stealth tank, shoot the mohawk, alright nice, very easy, very easy. That went exactly the plan, pretty much everything just went perfectly in that game. As you can see, the thick tank is still holding strong. Alright, we're up against Magnifique. I know nothing about this gentleman. Can I open the bad boy wheels? Go and see what he's up to. Dogs, alright. Interesting, interesting. So I'm going to wait and see if he makes a pit bull. If he makes a pit bull, I'm going to go tick. If he makes uh, anything else, I'm going to go bikes, probably. Actually, that's not true. I'm probably going to go Tick Tank regardless of what he does. Like, if he goes Predator, I'm still just going to go Tick Tank and try and burrow it. Tank. He's on double half. Alright, I'm going to try and block. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to go straight for his Harvester line. That sounds great. And we'll get some bikes uh, to defend. We'll get bikes, bikes to hold this, wheels to block to get my Tick Tank into position. Nice. Feels amazing, my dudes. Feels amazing. Get these bikes to harass this. We want to be charging the missile as much as possible. In here. Oh yeah, look at that. Forced him off. Forced him off the map. Feels amazing. I'm happy to just leave. That tick tank will beat the missiles, I'm pretty sure. You give it long enough, it'll win that matchup. Let's just fire this missile quickly. Yeah, easy missile. Yeah, look at that tick tank. Just taking names. Absolutely hosing those missile troopers. No big deal. Oh look, he's just given up. He's just let me have the harvester. Feels amazing. Uh, we'll get stealth tank to take this out. Oh, it's super low. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Boost it. Boost the tick tank. Move it very quickly. Look at that thing go. Tick tank. What a hero. Orca. Okay, this is something we're a little bit weak to. I'm actually going to let him kill all my garbage units here. And just get a fresh tank. Look at that thing. It doesn't even care. Big Tank couldn't care less about this Borker. Just eats that Borker volley for breakfast. 
Run this thing down for stank. Come on, just let me kill your bulker already. Thank you. Alright, thick tank does go down. Oh, I forgot to get a fresh thick tank. Uh, that's, an, that's an error. Right, let's do it now. Need to make sure we don't get killed by a second bulker here. Definitely a danger. Luckily we have boosted tick tank. I mean, uh, stealth tank, sorry. So, should be ready to go. It looks like we just win easily, to be honest. Here comes a hammerhead. Don't care at all. Easy. Easy thick tank victory. Mission accomplished. Three, two, one. Right, we're gonna oh, it's Reb. Okay, Reb is an extremely talented player. He's also the most aggressive player in the game. He charges pads so aggressively. Yeah, look at this guy go. I don't know what he's playing. I think it's a Fnatic aggro deck, which is going to be a pretty tough matchup for us, probably. It's going to be whether or not we can get thick tanks into position is going to be very important. He's gone bites. I want to just wait until I can get a tank, to be honest. Alright, good tank. Not really that excited about taking a volley here. He's going for another set of bikes. Let's get a burrow. Take out this bike squadron. Find burrow here. More bikes. Burrow tick tank should do a pretty good job, honestly. I think it should beat these bike squadrons, even though it's damaged. Don't want to take a shot here? Nice, no, didn't take the volley, that's a big deal. Flamers to go against my tick tank, but we're going to win this middle matchup. And then we're going to block, and that should be game. Oh, sorry, yeah, it should be missile. Nice, very nice. Very happy with how that went. Okay. So we haven't gone barracks yet, no big deal. Uh, we'll get some wheels for these flames. Need to lose some of these bikes as well. Got these two one man bikes. Oh, mutants? Okay, um, need fanatics. Oh, I meant medical fanatics. We'll run this tick away and get some flames. We've got fanatics, that's fine. We'll beat the fanatics with flames still. Oh, he's gonna boost his flames. Yeah, smart play by him. We're gonna lose this tick tank as well, it looks like. We do look like we win here just about. We'll get our own fanatics going. We need to be on this pad, this is not good. It's very not good, we're not going to get there in time. No, there's no way, we lose this missile control. Yeah, that's annoying. When it's like Fnatic Mirror is not great. Like I said, I think Fnatic Aggro is a pretty tough matchup for us. Well, actually, he has, um, he has Mutants, so I guess he's not Fnatic Aggro. Fnatic Mutant, never seen this deck before. That's strange. Obviously, we need a lot of Fnatics to defend ourselves here. Really hard to keep these ticks alive against um, against the Marauders. Wow, those flames did absolutely nothing. Those flames did absolutely nothing. That's crazy. It wasn't even against boosted fanatics. That was nuts. All right, looks like we're in trouble here. I don't think we're going to get this one. We're very far behind. We're struggling on all the pads. This the tick tank is not cutting the mustard here. Need to get it borrowed before the stealth tank arrives or it'll one shot it. Alright, let's get the fanatic. Yes, I guess. Get another tick. After it while it's reloading. Awkward. This is very awkward. Come on, tick tank. Go, 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 go. It's not going to be in time. Nope, looks like we lose. Oh, oh, we got on the pad. We got on the pad. Get on this pad as well. Oh, it's looking better now. Oh no, we can't stop the can't stop the fanatics get on this path. Hey target, true target, come on, fire the missile, fire the missile, fire the missile, no, no, all right, we lose. Rip. That's a tough matchup. Rev is an extremely good player, and his deck is better than ours. I wasn't winning the missile anyway at that point. Let's get some wheels and scout. I can wheel. Building on 
Oh, oh dogs. That's very interesting. I'm surprised you went dogs after one missile keeper. Alright, I'm gonna go for the 2v1 then if he's not making another missile keeper. Another dog. Very weird. Wow, it's a lot of dogs, okay. I'm surprised by this. Oh, they're level 5 dogs, I just realised. What are you going on? Okay, I mean, my opponent just had level 5 dogs for some reason, so this is obviously going to be a freebie. Get a tick tank and go for his harvesters. I was hoping he'd kill my fanatics and give me a boost there. There's another harvester. Let's get the tick position so I can shoot all the tip fields. I'm a flamer to defend it as well. I mean, this is, this is clearly going to be an easy win. I mean, it's got nothing going on. There's a Wolverine, which isn't going to do anything. Yeah, I mean, this game's already over. You are victorious. Three, two, one. Alright, let's get some wheels. We've also got wheels, we've got harvester. Go around to scout, I guess. If he goes, I think again. If he goes bikes, I'm gonna go straight into tick tank. There's the bikes, so we're gonna run away and we'll go straight into tick tank. I think. Let's see if he tries to pressure my harvester. Like he's going for it. Yeah, he is gonna try and pressure it. That's fine by me. Should mean that should mean I get to kill his bikes for free. Yeah, nice. So now we get to raid these bikes down. We only take like one bike missile doing it. Uh, now I need fanatics, so don't know if they're gonna be there in time. It's a little late. Gonna dance us a little bit. Not gonna be enough. We're gonna raid her. Yep, easily. Nice. We'll get you up here. All right, cool. Ooh, fanatics again. Home uh, mutants again. I mean. So we need to defend our tick from these mutants. Yeah, it's, it's mutant chuggy. That makes sense. So when he goes through here, I'm gonna hope to boost my tick and get it away. No, I couldn't get it out. That's bad. This is this is a pretty tough matchup because the mutants are really good against the ticks. And normally you win this matchup with scorpions by getting them boosted and going around the mutants. The ticks have way less hit points. So when they're moving, they're way less uh, able to take out chemical buggies. Alright, so we'll try and take out this chuggy with boost. Nice. And then we just want to spam fanatic. We want to try and keep this one. We basically want to play this tick tank like it's a scorpion with less hit points. So we're not really looking to burrow in this matchup. We're looking to roam it around and kill chemical buggies. Alright, nice. The Fnatic's just finished it off. Yeah, nice. It's looking very nice so far. And then we'll just block here, and that should be game. We've got Fnatic's on all the pads. Alright, that was, that was actually pretty easy. Julio! Objective complete. Alright, we're gonna go wheels first. What our opponent is up to. Nothing. Like nothing. So harvest stage from harvest stage from wheel. We'll let our wheel shoot his for a bit. I'm gonna go scout. Again, if he goes bikes, we'll probably just go tick tank. He does go bikes. Okay, let's back up. This map is not as good for us. Uh, we're not. Our spawn point is not as close to the harvester, so we don't get as much value out of going tick tank. Yeah, like as you can see, it's very easy for him to run away, as it wasn't on, like it wasn't on the other map. I want to go see if he's going lasers next. He has gone lasers, so I want to go it. I don't want to lose his wheels. I want him to pad holder back here. This is going to be a little bit tough. I don't know if we're going to get on this middle pad in time. Not looking great right now. Maybe. 
Come on, come on, come on. No, that's a, that, that is a risk that we had to take. By going for the tick tank. Alright, so I want to borrow this tick tank for sure. Then we'll just back up here. We we'll get boosted tick. Not particularly useful right now. We're gonna send the scorpion into it. That's kind of insanity. Obviously, our skip scorpion is gonna win. Uh, our tick is gonna crush his scorpion when borrowed. Yeah, I mean that wasn't wasn't remotely close. This is a nice play by our opponent. He set it up so we have to walk into the wheels. Very right, nice. We have stealth tank for this fancy, so that's not a problem. He also has fanatic. This tick is almost dead now. It's pretty bad for me. I need to re up on my tick tank. A full, a full barrage from a stealth tank will almost kill a scorpion, so... Just get a fresh tick tank in here. Get some lasers, I guess. Get the lasers over here, get the stealth tank over here. Get the drill pod. Need to get the stealth tank onto the fan Right, nice. That should be our missile now. Yeah, cool. Uh, this map's not as good for the tick. I think it's in the wrong position right now. I'm not sure. I think maybe like here would be better. I'm not 100% sure to be honest. Oh, I didn't move my stealth tank back. I thought I had. Alright, I just suicided my stealth tank for no reason. Kind of looks difficult to set up the positioning I want exactly with this stealth tank. Alright, nice. We've got boosted stealth. Got fire and volley at this time. Just now fix the handle there. Ah, I'm trying to get it boosted here. Nice, we get everything boosted. Finish this off. I'm gonna go off of this. Fresh stealth tank. We'll wait until the missile's about to fire, then we'll, we'll set. Definitely gonna need some fanatics here, though. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, stealth tank for sure. Feels out of the way. Alright, we have a bunch of things that live long against the Banshee. But we don't really have a way to remove the Banshees yet. I'm just going to spam them now. Super annoying. We have so much money. We need to pull this Harvester, I think. He just built a second Harvester, which I assume was a misclick, but I don't know for sure. Got a stealth tank. Oh, looks like we got it. Nice. Tick tank is just holding out forever there, the thick boys. Mission accomplished. Alright, weird boys. See what he's up to. Oh. Alright, so this is a weird placement of the harvester. Kind of looks like he's going to go double. Yeah, he does, so I'm gonna charge the missile. Uh, I'm gonna get a second wheel here just so I have more units on the field. And then I'm probably gonna save for a tick tank, honestly. Bikes just do so little damage to harvesters. It takes so long to kill a harvester with bikes. I think I'd rather just go tank. Although he's gonna start spamming lasers, it looks like. So then I'll go fanatics instead. Oh, he's just gone straight into air tower. Interesting. Hmm. Laser drones. Yeah, I was worried it would be laser drones. I don't really want to use... Bikes to fight these, so I'm gonna make the stealth tank instead. And here comes some more laser drones, I imagine. Oh, he's done another motion. I think he should have gone more laser drones there. Alright, easy missile. Now we'll go for Rasmus Harvester as well. We'll start making some, uh, some barracks. I don't actually have four missiles in my stealth tank, so we can't really, can't really take out the laser drones. Lasers. Kind of the only decent unit in our deck against laser drone is laser. So kind of annoying, but whatever. Or oh, basilisk. Well, that's quick. One minute seventeen. All right, fair enough. Take it out pretty easily. Oh no! Look out, Widowmaker. 
One of the worst units in the game. Possibly the worst. And it looks like we're going to win pretty much in here. Fight the bottom. Yeah, there's, there's no real threat here. He's going to make us a not a threat when the game is over. Okay then. Alright, not again, so we're gonna go wheels. I like to scout against Nod, as you guys probably know by now. Harvester Does Harvester. I don't actually want to show him my wheels. I think I think he might have seen them there. I think they did move into view, unfortunately. He has gone barracks, so we'll get second wheel. Flamers, okay, I guess he didn't see the wheels if he went flamers first. Alright, uh, we'll just sit back. If I go up to his spawn, he'll spawn lasers and start killing me. So we'll just chill for now, see what he goes into next. Air tower, alright, so some lasers. Probably gonna be laser drones. Wanna harass yeah there it is, laser drones. Wanna harass these flamers a bit. Block them from getting to my lasers as well. And we'll just grab his pads to be able to win the missile here. Yep, pretty easy. Looks like he's gonna send these laser drones over to my harvester. The fights, finish them off because they're a three man squad now. Hopefully, we get all three. Nice, no bug. And we'll block. Block here so he can't get to our lasers. Very nice. Turn these around. Alright, it's easy, it's a pretty easy, uh, pretty easy um, harvester kill. Go for the next one. Or laser kill. Get some tick, tick tanks set up. Okay, we're losing some units here because I want some more money to make more fit tanks. Right, so we're going to put fit tanks on all the pads. And then we're going to make some, uh, some lasers to defend them from laser drones. And we'll drill pop back here just to get another unit for the final charge. And that should be a pretty easy victory right here. Alright, there it is. I think that was 9-1 with Noid Hex's tick tank deck. Wait and see, but I'm pretty sure that was all coming in. Only lost to Reb, who's a very, very good player, playing, uh, I think his deck's a slight match of advantage against mine, but it was pretty close. Alright, so there it is, 9-1. Um, I would not, I would not, uh, dine to make comments on how to improve this deck. Because it is, it is Noi Hex's pet deck, so I'm sure he has worked through a lot of different variations and is pretty happy with this build. It is obviously a bit of a troll deck, um... I think Noid Hex did climb to like rank 2 before Razorbacks came out with a deck like this. Maybe even this exact deck. So I guess it's not that bad. Um, I'm not really a big fan of ticks, but they are a pretty fun meme unit. And uh, yeah, the deck is pretty good. Uh, I, I personally think it's a little weak because it has so little air. And in this metagame as well, like Shade exists now. So that's really awkward. But yeah, I wouldn't... I, I don't, I don't want to make comments on how to improve this deck because Noid Hex probably knows way better than me what variations work out so yeah hope you guys enjoyed that if you want to play a tick tank deck this is a pretty decent one it has fanatic you can play kane instead of seth as well um because fanatic boosts kane tower that gives you a little bit more game against mlrs and um giga as well because if you will park them on the pads you can snipe them all right guys hope you enjoyed the tick tank deck i'll see you all later